So guys, right now, what we're doing is actually taking a driving tour. And what this does, it actually takes you from spot to spot throughout locations of the battlefield, near the battlefield. Uh, but I'm gonna give you a heads up. It starts you in town. So if you go to the battlefield and you think you're gonna start in there, you're not gonna start in there. You have to start in town. So just think about that before you go jumping on the, the uh, tour. But it's a very cool tour so far. Uh, it's stopping us at different monuments like this one here and there's actually one down further down there which we already passed that one but these were part of the battlefield down here all the way around all throughout this area is was all battlefield so A little windy out here today so if you have trouble hearing me I apologize but we will do the best we can because right now I have no uh, microphone on top of my camera so I'm just going by my camera microphone so I hope you can hear me okay and we're gonna continue this tour shortly and take a look at everything in the background you can see some fences way out there yet And then there's a church. You can see the church steeple coming in the view now. That's went pretty far over there too. But yeah guys, this so far has been a very good experience for all of us. We all have not been over here. And I'm 48, like I said before, so I'm kinda kind of astounded by how much there is to do here and the learning is amazing I've met a couple people already that broke some stuff down for us as far as the history better than what I know I don't know a lot about the history and actual things that went on here other than what we learned in school so Stay tight, we're gonna get a good here. Right now guys, as you can see behind me, this is called the Eternal Light. It's a peace memorial between North and South. And the top half, if I remember correctly, uh, the stone was brought from... I think it was Louisiana Limestone. Louisiana Limestone. And then the bottom half... Granite. It was granite. But it's a very, it is burning. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me try zooming in a little bit here. Let's see if it's catching it or not. It is burning. And I can see the flame here. I don't know if you can see it. We 
because it'd be in daytime out here or not. Uh, but this is constantly lit. It's lit day and night, 24-7, 365 days a year. And as the story goes, the reason they had all these fences is back in the day farmers used to put all these fences up and they kind of speculate during the driving tour that that might have been the difference between winning and losing the uh, Civil War because of slowing the Confederates down to cross over the speculation they say about the, those fences right there. They're suggesting that it, it slowed down enough where the Union forces could win or help to win the Civil War. As you can see there's plenty of people around here and But even just the views out here is, is it's gorgeous out here.